Hi everyone, Speed Beauty is a bit different this week. My friend Jo GB, who has been a beauty editor for over 20 years, has her own channel where she interviews beauty experts in the back of a black cab. This week is my week and I thought you might be interested to look and have a listen at the interview. I hope you enjoy it. You better hurry up because I get car sick. <laughs> Do you really? Yes. Oh Jesus, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Here I am today, very excited because I'm with Caroline Barnes, makeup artist, expert, extraordinaire, who I've known for so many years. Celebrities love her. Beauty journalists love her. Influencers love her. Thanks, Jo. Just keep on going. I'm just going to sit here and relax, look out the window. <laughs> so you My head swells. <laughs> so check out her um, Speed Beauty YouTube account. Um, and sit on. It's not so speedy anymore. I wanted to do little. It's obviously a bit I'm... longer, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> Because obviously my experience was always doing little anecdote tips for you guys editorially. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd get to sort of say what wanted in like four lines, mm. Barnes says, blah, yeah. and I'd get that moment. So I was always quite trained by you, mm. beauty journalists, initially trained to kind of you. come, yeah, to come and get out with those sound bites. Yeah. So get it started out, doing Barnes. it just for like one bullet minute. Point, bullet points, Barnes. Get to the point. <laughs> And I, and I do like to get to the point because I don't like all the blah, blah, blah. I just want to get the information. So it started as really quick ones and I thought that would be quite different, you know. Mm. But actually it's just easier. And people, especially on YouTube, like the whole process of it. I don't particularly enjoy painting my face particularly, but it, it gets the education across. Mm. As to your blush or as to your eyebrows or whatever it might be. But um, this is a lovely thing. It's try, I try and do quick things. And if I do quick things, they're like, oh, it's a bit short this week. So you can't, um, you can't win. But anyway, you can't win. So it's not really off brand. Yeah. Whereas you are very on brand, Joe, because you are greens and greys of different tones. Yes. Celebrating the candle. <laughs> You are cute. <laughs> Just in case there you are. don't know, there's yeah. one. <laughs> very nice, very Keep pure. That no Keep paraffin that in. in her house. Oh, you're gorgeous. Mm. No, there isn't, exactly. There we go. Right, what do you think for spring is the best update? Well, I think in spring we all start embracing colour. So we've kind of gone for those kind of rich, sparkly, deep, luxurious colours from party season. Then mm. we go into sort of like bland January, although I'll try and make my That's cheeks me. look a little bit pinker and a little bit more healthy because I'm mm. quite grey, I'm very pale. And I think when we come into spring, as the daffodils pop their heads up, mm. colour comes to mind, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So it's the yeah. soft pinks and the soft lilacs and it's just playing maybe with those little, little nudie tones and then that very subtle sort of first few days of sun, that sort of gentle sun kiss, so it's mm. not too orangey and it's not too brown, but just that sort of caramel skin with just a touch of colour. And I think when you use a bit of pale pink or lilac, it just kind of just adds a little bit of femininity to your makeup. Mm. And the textures and colours in so many of the eyeshadows now, especially even like the very gentle holographic colours that you may think, and oh, I'm not going to wear that, but they're yeah. so translucent yeah. and delicate that they watch. just add a, a delicacy to the makeup. It doesn't need to be a transformative mm. product. You may be the only one that just sort of sees it, but it just kind of adds a little bit of... Um, I don't know, newness to your look, doesn't yeah. it? So you just enjoy it. Because for me, makeup is all about um, enjoyment and just kind of like... Feel yeah, good. Feel good factor, yes. Yeah. And I was thinking about this yesterday, actually, that I was going to my sister's and I'd been for a run. That's a new thing, won't last very long. But anyway, I did go for a run. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I really can't bother to put my makeup on because it's like three in the afternoon and be taking it off in a few hours. And I thought, I have to put my makeup on. And I realised I have to put makeup on. Like, if I was going around town now and going to Sainsbury's and whatever, like, I wouldn't bother. And then I hmm. feel invisible because I feel like I have no features but I feel like it's rude not to put makeup on. I'm going completely off, well, off question now. But rude not to put makeup on. I feel like I've I'm... Been like that before. Yes. That is an insult to you madam that I'm Like not I haven't bothered. Like I haven't bothered. Like I haven't, haven't ironed my... For yeah. You. Mm. Like mm. I haven't ironed my clothes but then I don't iron them anywhere. <laughs> Hang them carefully. Or polish shoes or, or just... I turn the kettle on and dangle. Oh that's a good tip. Oh, it's very good. Because pink is big. For, well, pink is health, springtime. pink is freshness, pink yeah. kind of, you know, gives that lovely sort of hue of um, freshness, doesn't yeah. it? And a nice cool pink will also bring out the whites of your eyes and teeth. Mm. Anything with too much brown, anything too, is too warm, doesn't, has the opposite effect, but a really lovely bright light. I've got it actually in here, I think. Yeah. Get it out. Um, 
uh, my lipstick queen. So you carry Frog these around princess. with you all the time. So this would be my emergency day kit. So okay. I love this. <clears throat> Frog princess cream blush. So it's the, the green one. Queen. Don't try. I know that. So it's the I green, and then one. it just goes to a really, really lovely sort of cool pinky mm. raspberry tone, and I put that on my lips, lips and cheek. And Cheeks. doesn't the tone change? It's lipstick queen, isn't it? Yes. Does, doesn't it change depending on your Heat skin and pH? the and the pH. Yeah. Yes, exactly. But even on quite a, a, a warm skin tone, it does it does mm. really come up. So you've never have you ever found anybody it didn't work on? Oh uh, no, not particularly. Mm. I wouldn't necessarily use this for my job. Right. Because it's very sheer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's different products that I would use for me mm. on the go. Yeah. Um, and about. for me working, because obviously <laughs> I'm usually working with quite strong lights. Mm. So that would be sort of just pointless putting that on. Yeah. Because it just is very, very yeah, natural, yeah, yeah. very, very sheer. So yeah. there, there, that's, actually, that's another thing we should chat about, actually, products that are great for life and products that are great for industry. I was just, I was just going to say, because I'm always like, oh, do you wear any makeup? I like, guess I do. Um, or, um, you yeah. know, and there's that thing of real life makeup that just makes you feel good. So it should be your own perception necessarily. Or, but then when you're caught on the camera, it's mm. like, oh my God, I know I look like I don't wear any eye makeup or what, you know, and it's like, but actually when you're of a certain age, you, you do want to pare back a bit because... Yes, but you also need to boost the structure of your face because yes. as you get older, the eyebrows go slightly lighter, <coughs> maybe your eyelids go slightly thinner or, yeah. you know, everything starts to disappear slightly. Yeah. So, so at what age do you think it, you stop decorating your face and start scaffolding it again? <laughs> I'd say sort of post late 30s, late I'd say. 30s, Everyone's yeah. different. Mm. And some people refuse to um, decorate their face because they want to be or be seen as they were when they were 21. So yes. if they've got the time and effort to do that. And if they don't have a kid, mm. two kids, then that's easy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> but just as you start to lose the sort of collagen in your face and everything isn't as plump and as bouncy as it used to be, mm. I think then Unlike that's the when cab. you need to be. <laughs> 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 um, then that's when you need to do that. But you just feel that, you know, your face isn't as sharp as it used to be. Your features mm. aren't as sharp. Mm. Or so, gravity takes hold. Yeah. What are your favourite ways to boost, um, boost the sculpture, like the cheekbones, and um, gravity so it is, Yeah, so it is a little bit about contouring and removing the darkness. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing you have to do. So you're always going to be dark in between the corners of your eyes here always. and underneath. Always, mm -hmm. everyone. So using a great concealer for that. Mm -hmm. Maybe also around here as well. Yeah. Um, and bring the fullness back into your cheeks so that if you are quite angular in your face, then you need to kind of soften it a little bit and kind of make the apples of your cheeks rounder. Mm. Whereas if you're more rounder face, then you just sort of need to add a little bit more of an angle to your blusher. Mm. So it's looking at your face and being sort of diagnostic about it to go, right, now what's going to suit me best? Brows play a big part. There are so many great yeah. brow products. I've got a couple in here that I want to share with you as mm. well. And then the shape Do of your get lip. Get them out, get them out. Well, this, actually, a friend of mine who helped me um, found, and it's from a company called Soap & Glory. I know who I use a few of their lip products. Um, I've dabbled, but I haven't been hugely... Um... I know what it is. Oh, oh it is archery. Yes, it is. Um, it's archery with the tint on the back. Mm. And I started using it for my ladies that were coming through chemo. The mm. lid is in there, by the way. Um, it's got, so it's double-ended, and the ink on this is really, really mm. lovely. And I w went out and bought loads. There were a few on Instagram, Tat Brow, which actually mm -hmm. comes from China, which is a great delivery system, but they're very orangey, the colours. All of them, yeah, well, all of them. They were dreadful, they were really dark. Mm. So that's a shame about that. Um, and then on the other end, it's got a cold pencil. So Perfect. if you're very, very, um, if you've got very fine hairs or light hairs, you can build in a lovely shape with that. Mm. It lasts all day, it doesn't dissolve onto the skin, which some cold pencils can, especially if your skin is greasy. It's just a great pen. So yeah, brow. So that's really, if you are brow shy or brow scared, this is a great, great product to use. And what makes, so when you, you referred to your chemo ladies, tell me yes. about that. Well, when I was doing lots of celebrity, um, I felt I needed a little bit of balance. Mm. A very, very privileged situation to be, go to the most beautiful hotels, you travel the world, you work with incredible people, but I just wanted to just give something back. So I found out about this charity that was in London, Look Good, Feel Better. Yeah. And I went to work um, at two cancer hospitals, which is the Haven and, um, oh gosh, what's one on Fulham Road? Marsden. And so I had to learn how to do it. And I was yes. terrified the first time. It was, you know, you have about 20 people and all sorts of stages of cancer. Mm. 
and then you just help them through this 12-step program just showing them how to do cleanse tone moisturize their skin properly I mean that's quite basic now mm. um, and how to paint their face when they don't have any eyebrows teach them how to define their eyes mm. and lashes but I felt very nervous at that point in my life I hadn't lost anyone to cancer now I've lost a truckload right. um, so I'm, I'm more au fait with the mm. language but this is way back when this is probably like 15 17 yes, years ago using and then I had my kids and it was much more difficult to then work out my um, freelance work and working for the charity and um, being a mum mm. so I then got involved with them on a PR aspect. So I started doing PR with them right. and helping them and then carried on doing the campaigns and yeah, some yeah. online tutorials and things like that because nice. it's empowering. So that's a lovely side of mm. my business too. Mm. Do you think beauty matters? Uh, confidence matters mm. because I've worked with the most beautiful women in the world and unfortunately I've witnessed a lot of people who aren't able to see their own beauty. Mm. And I was shocked, I was, I was literally I couldn't, I couldn't rest for a few days after a particular incident that happened. I was like, how can that poor girl not see what she looks like mm. in the mirror? It's mm. facial dysmorphia. Yeah. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever come across. You are perfect in every way that I would see. Mm. Skin, hair, nails, eyes, teeth, smile. You know, the list went on, genetically blessed. Mm. And yet, you don't see any of that. What a shame, yeah. what a waste. Yeah. So to I've learned to live a life feeling so yeah. down about yourself. And then there was me, you know, pockmarked, spotty, acne for 15 years, just like trying to do my best. Utterly of myself. gorgeous. You know, I've got better as I've got older because I'm not covered in spots, but that just but also ruined confidence. my 20s. Do mm. you know what I mean? It was yeah, just yeah. the way that it was. And I was very happy to be backstage, very happy to be a makeup artist. And I was working with some very dear people who didn't mind that I rocked up with a pustule face. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> But that was a killer for me, and my yeah. luckily my husband's amazing, and he's always boosted me and being my biggest fan. So mm. I've tried and I've dug deep to go, okay, just try and be me, try and be me, try and be me, try and be me. Yeah. And all, and seeing that has helped me yeah, because yeah, yeah. I think actually, well, actually, why would I want to look like that or have hair like that? If actually that's not going to be the key to mm. my personal happiness. Mm. How did you ever? How did you find that strength of character? Did you um, do anything in particular? In my 30s, so 20s was a difficult time for me. I worked mm. really, really hard. I accepted every job that came my way. I was quite exhausted, but loving it. And, you know, going on a train, I didn't know where I was going to. Do you know what I mean? And then obviously heartbreak and love and all that kind of stuff and mm. bad skin and not knowing all those things. And then in my 30s, um, I had three children and I lost three dear friends who were very young. Mm. Different scenarios. And that changed me as a person, as a human being, because to have so much love and then to lose so much as well is quite, mm. um, quite tough. Now I realise that going through that hardship actually has really helped me as a person to appreciate what I have. Yeah. So whenever I have a birthday, I'm always 46 years young, mm. never old, because my friend only got to 34. So I don't care how many lines, wrinkles, you know, dodgy knees or whatever I've got, bingo wings, you know, I've got them so I can celebrate them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that, yeah. that, that has helped in a, in a weird way. So positive things out of yeah. bad things. So, and I just think it's sink or swim, isn't it? Yeah. Confidence tricks. What's your best way to cover up um, lack of sleep? Which I'm a terrible insomniac, so that I'm Are good you? at that. Yeah, I didn't know. So that. lots of um, lots of hydration. Lack of sleep means your body is just feels very very depleted. So I would always use a serum, then a moisturiser, and then an oil. Right. If I'm tired, my skin just feels like it's hanging off my bones. Mm. So and then I'll put my foundation on, and then I'll always take an oil with me. And this one I thought is great for Joe on the go. Which is what I've got. My handbag normally mm. is um, Votary oh, have it. I in, love Votary. Yes. Mm. They have it is that the like this. Seed oil. Um, just the intense eye oil. Intense oil. But mm. it gives you. It, I think when I'm tired, mm. I always. My skin obviously feels very parched, but I've got dry skin, but it's worse. And then I just sort of tap that in, so it makes me feel a bit more illuminated. Yeah. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because when you feel tired, it it's it. around our eyes that we we will notice it the most. Yes. Because we'll, we'll be almost holding our eyes yes. in that kind of cold, cold, but like a sort of a, a sort of like exhausted way. Yes. Yeah. And then I'll always put a little bit of a lip on. In fact, I don't have it. It's a Max Factor one. It's called Pink Brandy. I've worn it for years. It's sort of like a corally warm corally colour mm. and it's a distraction method oh. so I'll put it on it's like there's no point just trying to do a smoky eye because mm. I'm just going to water it off if I feel like that so I'll yeah. put that on soften it a little bit maybe put a little bit on my cheeks just to kind of lift mm. my pale pallor okay and yoga skin is a big trend you know, I, what do you mean by that darling <laughs> I'm really out Namaste. of date sorry <laughs> I love yoga I love it I'm not that yoga great yoga skin but... 
is the trend for February 19th. Well, I'm makes... so sorry I've even said that because those words never come out that of this English. means I look like a beetroot. <laughs> if I'm doing no, yoga. That... No, oh no, okay, well then. That's my it's, yoga it's your, skin. It's your skin before you've done the yoga in that case. <laughs> no. Right. You look, you look like you're, it's, it's highlighter, it's shimmer, it's, it's that kind of glowy natural goodness. It's like beautiful nude. You look like you've got no makeup on, but actually you've got a shed load on in right. order to create that effortless face and you're only wearing the yoga gear you haven't done it because yes otherwise you would be right going, I think. but i suppose the yoga encapsulates the sort of mental health yes. and the physical yeah. well-being yes On i was note. born this way look yeah should we sing it no more pressure <laughs> how, does it, how does it start oh no i'm totally no, deaf, no no so no no how does it go no i'm not doing that so oh, oh no oh, <laughs> you were saying you can sing. No, I was born this way. Lady um, Gaga, come on. Oh. Hey. Anyway, have you tried this? See, my memory's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> have you tried Is that this? Clinics? Yes, but I had an awful, awful colour given to me, so I couldn't right. wear it. There's only four. It's um, skin fit. amazing for menopausal skin. Oh! <laughs> She's staring at me again. No, oh, no. <laughs> Well, it's a, but it's a workout makeup. But again, mm. I did it with my uh, chemo girls because yeah. obviously the hot sweats. Yeah. And yes. it just stays on. It's a little bit more of like an advanced um, Mac face and body. Mm. You ever use that foundation? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of artists mm. in the industry use that, and it's a great base. And it sort of creates this sort of web. It's tricky to apply. It sort mm. of gets a bit tacky, and then when it stays, when it when it dries, it creates this lovely sort of translucent finishing of skin. And this is so lovely. You would love it with the right um, with the right colour. With the right colour, because SPF forty. Yeah. And your skin's so good, you just need light yeah. and just a little bit yeah. of perfection. You don't I'm need coverage. I'm pretty sure that the, the palest one was too dark for me, but I think they're half, half the palest thing. one was too dark. Yeah, because the thing is, I'm, I'm oh. pretty non existent. Right. Yeah, but you're warm on your color. face because you're freckles. Yes, it's still too still too dark for me because I think they are part of the Clinique Fit thing. We'll see. You look quite outdoorsy, so it's more of a right. glow. Because four colours is nothing, is it? No, shame, because yeah, it's, it's a really, really well, A lot of people aren't going to find one that matches theirs. No, so, exactly. Yeah. But no, I, I think the texture was really fab. Mm. She's That's the she... only thing I can add to yoga skin. Okay. <laughs> well, right now, you've got this gorgeous jewel from your oil. So there oh, we go. Oh, I'm a dewy now, not yeah, oily. That's dewy. good. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, oh, what do I look like? <laughs> I love it. Ooh. Right. Um, how to cover puffiness? After late night, oh, I know that will. But one of my like we're well, ventriloquist now. But we, yeah. <laughs> she answered the question. No, that's true. Who okay. asks questions no. and then but, answer them for you? Me. I just sit here and smile. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Caroline, <laughs> how would you resolve puffiness, darling? So drainage, massage, drainage, yeah. and cooling um, metals that you have, like the eye rollers. Mm. I've got a Sicily one, but I know lots of different brands do them, and you can roll it around yes. your eyes. Also, one little good trick I learned when I was, I was having around my husband and I was crying my eyes out. I was at four in the morning. I was like, oh no, I look like a frog. What am I going to do in the morning? I've got a big job. I'm meant to look nice. And I put loads of hyaluronic on, just hyaluronic. I thought, oh, anything, just like what's oh, yeah. in my little cabinet. Mm. Put that on and then bing, woke up like a princess. Ooh. Literally, the hyaluronic had just absorbed all the moisture because mm. yeah. that's what it does, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And then hydrated my skin, but there was no excess fluid. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I know. I was quite. Oh, I, I need to that one. Yeah. So working with working with models and celebrities still, um, and making them look the best versions themselves. Mm. Do you find with social media um, influence now that they are less confident? Would you say? Oh, it depends on the individual. Some mm. of them embrace social media in a very different kind of natural way. Some mm. post pictures constantly. Some aren't even on Instagram. Yeah. Um, they're much more aware now because, I mean, the BAFTA sort of 10 years ago, I mean, the poor girls had to go in their own little frocks and do mm. their own hair and makeup. And that's only sort of 10 years ago. Now mm. they've got people to help get them dressed and makeup companies to help put makeup on their face. And they're obviously more aware because there are more pictures around. Mm. You'd just be lucky if you could like run to the news agents and you might have, you know, a picture in the Daily Mirror. Do you know what I mean? Or I'd like, mm. look at the Evening Standard and go, oh God, has my actress got in there? And you've been, oh, <laughs> no, just that one. <laughs> just Kate Blanchett or, you know. Yeah. Um, so now every Everyone's got exposure through Getty images and you yeah. can, everyone can look on Getty and mm. post their own pictures and you know it's, it's, it's out there so yes you do want to make sure or actresses want to make sure that they're 
getting themselves right for whom they see themselves as, because yeah. they're always playing characters, so they want, this is who I am. So you work together to kind of yeah. create a look that works for them. Hang on, we're just ending the oh, other one. Oh, we're finishing. That's what <laughs> we're doing. And then we... I'm on the go. Come on. I'm not going back. <laughs> oh, oh, bye. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, darling. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the love. And do visit my lifestyle website, jogbliving.com, where you'll find our candles and blog and more exciting things to come. The link is below.